Today is Saturday, March 14th. Yesterday was a complete shit show. The morning started with me having to sleep in my car for a couple hours because my tent started soaking through. It rained all morning. Due to the weather yesterday, I was going to try uh, just skipping the last day here at Capitol Reef and moving on to Bryce Canyon, but as I started driving to Bryce Canyon, which is about a hundred mile drive from here, which requires you to drive up into the mountains through Dixie National Forest, I quickly learned that if it's like 40 or 45 degrees here in Capitol Reef, that means when you get up in the mountains, it's going to be snowing there. I was like 15 miles into my hundred mile drive there, and that's when I decided that I needed to uh, turn back around because the road started getting a little dicey. There was a uh, winter storm warning, which I wasn't previously aware of because I hadn't had Wi-Fi for about a day and a half. Um, so the area that I was driving through was expected to get 6 to 16 inches of snow yesterday. So, um, yeah, I don't think I was going to make it through uh, those roads with my Corolla. Here I am, Saturday morning. I am back at Capitol Reef, and basically I just pushed everything back a day. It's pretty interesting watching the uh, coronavirus develop or at least the reaction to the coronavirus developed from out here because I basically haven't had cell service for three full days now. Yesterday I fell into the trap of scrolling through social media for way too long because I was behind on all the coronavirus stuff. So it's it's pretty interesting. I'm getting all the news probably about a day or two later um, than you guys are. There has been basically no coronavirus talk out here whatsoever. Uh, so it's been kind of nice. That's uh, definitely one of the, the benefits of being able to unplug and just kind of get away from everything for a while. So it's about noon. I'm finally getting underway with this first hike now. It's about 3.6 miles round trip and judging by the puddles that you guys can see, might be a little bit of a wet one. That's where I started. You can see my Corolla down there. God, she's pretty even from up here. When the snow starts to fall And you bury down beneath it all oh, It's about 1.45 now, so I'll probably try to find another, for sure, one more trail, probably two more trails yet today. Um, right now I'm going to go back to the campsite. I laid my uh, tent out before in the sun because it was still wet from the other day. There's my baby out there. All by her lonesome. Just getting a little sun right now. Just doing a little sunbathing. If you guys behave, I'll give you the tour of the inside at some point. But that's up to you. That's on you, not me. Hike number two is underway. This one is about a 3.8 mile hike. Fades away If you lose your breath And the words to say Tides will turn Rest assured, cause seasons pass, a new day dawns, and through the clouds, the sun will shine, to guide you home, into the light. Capitol Reef has definitely been my favorite of the three parks so far just because I have had pretty much every single one of these awesome viewpoints completely to myself. I'm almost back to my campsite so this concludes about eh, nine and a half miles or so of hiking today. So it was a pretty good day. Um, but now I'm in quite the conundrum because I'm absolutely, absolutely starving. But I'm also so exhausted that I don't want to go anywhere and get out of my car and there's no fast food here because there aren't really people here. This would be a time where quick trip would come in handy. I don't know why they don't have quick trips here. I'm canceling the MTV Cribs tour of my tent. You guys don't get to see my tent until you put quick trips here. Shame on you. Shame on you. I just came across some deer. 
My god, these guys are fat. They are so fat. You don't get that fat without eating quick trips. Where are the quick trips, guys? I know you know where the quick trip is. There's no way you're this fat if there's not a quick trip somewhere. Bums. So tonight, instead of setting up a time lapse for the sunset, I decided to get a sub from Subway instead. And, of course, by far the best one there's been so far.